Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Hope you're all well and welcome to my 2024 Crown Jewel prediction video. Another pay review. Get in there. So yeah, Crown Jewel. We're going back to Saudi Arabia for uh, the pun. Well, no, I say the penultimate, but there is one in December. Whether it's being classified as an actual premium live event is the question. But yes, Crown Jewel. Uh, cards are looking good. It didn't look good, but now it does. And yeah, so here's my predictions. And we'll start off with a fatal four-way for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. Lash Legend and Jakara Jackson from NXT. Damage Controls, EO Sky and Kyrie Sane. Chelsea Green and Piper Niven. And the champions, Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill. Now, overseas a lot this year, the titles have changed hands. The only pay-per-view they never changed hand was in Saudi. And Australia. Sorry. Now, 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 now. Everywhere in Europe they did change hands. In Backlash, Bash in Berlin and Clash at the Castle. In all three of them. Are they going to change the hands at Saudi? No. Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill to retain the women's tag team titles. Yeah. Um, LA Knight defends the United States Championship against Carmelo Hayes and Andrade. What a match this could be. Uh, obviously, Andrade and Carmelo Hayes have had their best of seven series, which is still tied at 3 all. Whether we're actually going to get a finish to that is the question. LA Knight, being involved in the feud, obviously. Um, I don't know what it is. Is the United States title reigns not clicking for me? And I like it. I love LA Knight. But it's just not clicking. Could WWE take the belt off him here? I've seen a lot of so like a lot of websites say Mello could win the title. Personally, I'd want Andrade to win it. But I'm gonna go safe and I'm gonna go LA Knight to retain the title. Might regret that one, but who knows? Kevin Owens and Randy Orton. Now the feud for this is good. KO obviously turned his back on Cody and attacked Randy. And Randy is wondering why and everything. And has been begging uh, Nick Aldis and Triple H or Paul, Triple, uh, Paul Levesque for the match. And he's got it, finally. Who to win though? This is tricky. Randy could win. To assert himself. But does KO need it more? If obviously the rumoured match at Saturday night main event is Cody and KO. Hmm. This is really difficult. I'm going to go Randy Orton to win by disqualification. I don't like disqualifications on premium live events, but this one kind of makes a little sense. Don't think Randy can lose clean, and I don't think KO can lose clean. So you have KO attack Randy with a chair and gets disqualified. That sounds right. Yeah. Sure, we'll go with it. Um, Seth freaking Rollins against Big Bronson Reed. Oh. A match I am looking forward to. This could be really good. Really, really good. I think the win is very obvious though. As much as this could be really good. I think Seth's got to win. Bronson put him on the shelf for... Is it six, seven weeks? Three months? Something like that. And obviously came back. Bronson did also stand tall on this week's Raw. And whoever stands tall usually on the go-home edition... Usually loses at the pay-per-view. That's how it goes in WWE. Don't think Seth can lose this. So, yeah, Seth is to win. And who knows? Maybe Bronson acknowledges him after the match. Probably not, though. Probably too soon for a Bronson face turn. So, yeah, Seth the win. 
Liv Morgan against Nia Jax, the Women's World Champion against the WWE Women's Champion for the first ever crown jewel fucking glorified money championship. <laughs> absolutely hate the idea. People can come at me, I don't care. I absolutely hate it. It's glorified Saudi money that no one gives a monkeys about. But anyway, Liv and Nia. Hmm. Two factors here. What's Rhea Ripley going to do? Is she going to get involved? Is Raquel going to cost Nia the match? Is Tiffany Stratton finally going to cash in the Money in the Bank briefcase? I'm going to go. Nia Jax to win. So she wins the Crown Jewel Championship. Jesus, Crown Jewel Championship. And then Tiffany Stratton cashes in on Nia Jax. So Liv walks out with the Women's World title, Nia walks out with the Crown Jewel title, and Tiffany walks out with the new Women's Champion. That sounds right. And I like the sound of that. So we're going to go with that one. Hey, now, what I think will be the cool main event is Roman Reigns, Jey Uso and Jimmy Uso, the OG bloodline, against the Timu bloodline of Tamatonga, Solo Sikoa, Jacob Fatu, and possibly Tonga Loa. Hmm. <laughs> I don't care who wins this because we all know what we're getting at War Games. We're getting the War Games match. I can't wait. It's going to be brilliant. And I know OG are going to win a War Games, so you've got to give the team who bloodline the win here. I don't care. Uh, Jimmy's probably going to get pinned by Jacob or Solo. Sammy's probably going to get involved. Probably going to see a whole load of malarkey. And yeah, Timu Bloodline to win. Obviously, it's obvious because you've got to have the main event at War Games, which is the OG Bloodline standing tall with the ones in the air. But yes. And finally, that brings on us on to the main event. Oh, Jesus. For the Crown Jewel Championship. Yay. Again, it's undisputed WWE Champion Cody Rhodes against World Heavyweight Champion Gunther. And I only have one thing to say here. And only one winner. And it possibly could be. Gunther's got to win. Cody won the Rumble in 2023. Last eliminating Gunther. Cody has had multiple opportunities. He hasn't. He's only took two losses. Two. No, three losses, sorry, since coming back. Drew on an episode of Raw. Brock Lesnar at Night of Champions when he passed out, and Roman at WrestleMania 39. Make this number four, let Gunther win, and win the Crown Jewel Championship. Makes sense, Gunther deserves it, and that's why my prediction is a ring general, Gunther. So yeah, Crown Jewel this Saturday. Uh, I think it's on at 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock UK time, so make sure to tune in for it. And yeah, I'm next back. I'm taking a break uh, after... Some family stuff, uh, RIP. But yes, on to next Tuesday when we will return with West Auckland Town against Gateshead in the second round of the Durham Challenge Cup. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to hit, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on the post notifications so you don't miss another upload. And I'll see you soon.